Hi, everybody. We are live on a random StreamYard post. Today's topic is how good are you at selling? How good are you at sales? I'm joined uh, by Eric, the great Eric Pajerky. How am I doing for your last name? Uh, that's good enough. I mean, people will know how to spell it. It's beer key, beer that you drink and key to open a door. That's how you remember it. Oh, beer key. Okay, cool. So the J is silent. Yeah. Uh, the J is not silent in Jeffrey. Otherwise, it would be Effrey. Yeah. But we're we're good on when you see J in the middle of the word, it's it's most of the time silent. Anyway. Um, we've been giving away a sales assessment for a long time and we're about to start to charge for it. And I don't want to eliminate your ability to, um, have this for free. So we're offering it for free until Saturday to not just for those of you who are joined. Um, but, uh, I think it's imperative that you tell both your friends to get on and get it for free as well. Mm -hmm. um, the sales assessment is something that I put together about 15 years ago. There's 350 questions and four possible answers to each question. And it's not best and worst like it is on, on some of the other assessments. It's best, second best, third best, worst. So when you get a report on this and you get a 20 page report on the assessment for free, it will tell you exactly where you are in each of 10 categories. And when you retake it to see how good you're becoming, you'll never get the same question twice. That's mm -hmm. the cool part. That, that's the cool part. So think about this, um, Die Hard. Uh, think about the fact that you're out there, you tell everybody how great you are, but you don't really know. Yeah. This sales assessment is only for you. There's no pass or fail. It's only where are you at this moment in selling. Um, I believe if you just go to Gitmer.com, G-O-M-E-R.com, right at the top of the web page. Somebody check it out and make sure, okay? All right. Um, I just missed 10 seconds. You did? Yeah, that was kind of weird. See, so go to Gitmer.com and uh, some of you out there and report back that it's there. I want to make sure I'm not sending you to the wrong website because it could be by Gitmer.com. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, one... oh, so to get the asset. Yeah, mine cut off. My uh, connection got cut off. But yeah, the assessment, if you go to GitmerTraining.com, it's oh. right on the first page. Yeah, if you go to Gitmer training.com the very top of the page it talks about um getting your free assessment yeah and it, same thing with get training they're both there billy sinclair thank you very kindly uh billy is a very popular name among famous women billy eilish as an example she just did a song for the barbie movie that's going to win every award on the planet and she's also part of the uh, hyper real family of friends that I'm a part of. So somehow or the other, I will be loosely connected to Billie Eilish, one of the performing superstars in uh, Teen Girl messages. Um, Eric, you're frozen. Okay, now you're not. And I can't hear you. You've muted yourself. Can you hear me now? Yes. Don't mess with anything. Just leave it alone. Okay. Um, so I'll do my best. Okay. Here's the challenge. Uh, you're here to get better at selling, but you don't really know if you're any good. So I'm telling you that you need to go and take the assessment right now while it's free. Cause in, I think by Monday, it'll be $97. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And worth every penny, by the way. Customers have paid $97 for it for years. Yes. Um, but it's up there for free right now. You get it for free. You get your assessment for free. And when you finish, Eric will call you and talk to you about it. Yeah. And, you know, it's 
it's so powerful when you're looking at the assessment and you notice, because I talk to people that do this assessment constantly, Jeffrey. And one thing that's very common is I'll just ask. And when, when you take it and then I follow up with you, I'll ask you the same question. I'll say, hey, so you took the assessment. You know, how did you feel about the results? And 100% of the time, people are like, it's weird how accurate it was. Right? Not like everyone that, will look at not, it. Not only, not only that, the older you are, the more you think it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because, I've done this. And I can promise you this it is not wrong. Yeah. It, it is right on the freaking money. I made every question. I didn't buy it from somebody. It took me months to be able to create this this uh, uh, bevy of sales information. It's absolutely incredible. And when you get it, you're going to find out that there's places where you can improve. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to be able to take it again in several months. And we're going to let you in if you if you take it now and you're in the you're in the grandfather club or the grandmother club. I'm going to make sure I include all genders. Mm -hmm. um, you'll be able to take it again for free. We'll give you a hall pass to take it the second time. Yeah. Um, and it's unbelievable how you're going to improve. Now, Eric, talk for a minute about your experience with this. Yeah. Um, the, the fact, your ability to improve after taking it, it, we're not just talking about that. I took the assessment a, about a year ago. Um, and at the time, having been in sales for 10 years, you know, I felt like I was pretty good. And I saw the assessment results and it did expose the areas that I knew I was weak in, but wasn't quite comfortable enough to really work on. It'll show you those areas and right. you'll see it. Or admit, admit you're weak. See, that's exactly. The, one of the things about salespeople is they've never done anything wrong in their lives. And every time they've ever lost a sale, it was the fault of the customer. That's how it was the guy. Work. Yeah. Yeah. Who's the guy? So my challenge, to, my challenge to you is take this assessment. It's free. Get a twenty-page report in one second, and then decide for yourself. You know, maybe maybe mm -hmm. I'm full of shit. I doubt it. Maybe it's you that think you're better than you are. And here's the deal: it's real, and it's yeah. real sales information that you can turn into money if you decide you want to play. You have to decide. Mm -hmm. You have to decide you want to get better. And I can tell you, these questions are genuine and accurate. I made them. I made every single question. I made every single answer. There's 350 of them. Go rock the test. You're only going to get 30 questions. Mm -hmm. And you'll get one from each of the 10 categories. There's 10 silos of sales about. And, but it's, and this is a, another interesting thing about this. This is a skills assessment not an aptitude assessment. I'm not interested in knowing are you are you fit for selling? That's bullshit. <clears throat> Everyone's fit for selling, whether they want to or not. But how yeah. good are you at picking up the phone and making a cold call? How good are you at networking? How good are you at closing the sale? How good are you at making a connection, a relationship? Those are the things you want to know about. And that's what this assessment does. So, grab Jeffrey, it. I think it's really yeah. important that you mentioned the aptitude versus the skills like and the difference because i've yeah. personally known people that have taken and i won't drop any names of different types but have taken other very popular assessments that use different letters of the alphabet to say what type of person you are and what you are or are not good at um and they look at those results and the results are discouraging to them of oh man maybe i don't belong in sales and I've told those people, I've said, hey, you are whoever you want to be. Just understand that this might be your natural inclination personality wise, but your sales skills are completely separate from this personality diagnosis that you got from this test. And I think it's it's crucial to know what you said about it being a skills assessment, because all skills, if you've got a growth mindset, not a static mindset, all skills are learned and developed. No one's born knowing how to sell. Correct. I want to tell you parenthetically, Eric was so good at this that we asked him to join our team. And you have to you have to look at this from the perspective of 
Uh, he's improving. He's making sales. He's having a good time. And he'll be talking to you. Yeah. Just go through the assessment. Eric, Eric will give you a buzz. And yeah. I think it's important to understand that it's only free until Monday. Mm hmm. And then you're going to click on the link and it's going to be $97. And you're going to call up and go, yeah, I, I clicked the link too late. You know why? Because you're slack. And being slack is part of selling. There's no category <laughs> for slack. You exactly know who you are. So Is I'm the emotional resilience down. category, like, is that where you're slack if you get a low emotional resilience score? Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> put this into your storehouse of knowledge. And grab yourself the assessment. Um, I, I think that it's it's imperative for you. Yeah, Bruce just came chimed in and said, "Hey, no one teaches it in colleges. They do have sales courses in college, but I can tell you the textbook that they use blows." Um, <laughs> some some professor of say of, who teaches a sales course at, at a school here in, in America, Massachusetts. Um, wanted me to join their class for, you know, an hour. And I said, sure, I would. What's the textbook that you use? And he sent me back this textbook, Modern Selling or some bullshit. And it's horrible. It's totally horrible. It doesn't teach you what questions to ask. It doesn't teach you what, you know, where to go and what to do. So the kids that are graduating with marine biology degrees that realize they have to go sell Xerox machines for a living, um, <laughs> Yeah, are having a, a very difficult time in making that transition. We're going to help. Mm -hmm. We're going to offer an online. We, you know, we have our online sales course, and I'm I'm talking with a couple of universities right now about installing that. And once it goes, it'll it'll go viral because it's mm -hmm. fun. And a professor will be able to teach it and have fun doing it. And the kids in the class. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be giving um, a lecture to this sales class and recording it. I'm going to use that recording to tell other schools, hey, it's time to step up. But I know that Ohio University has a sales course and Baylor has a sales course. There's several schools around the country, Florida, um, uh, South Florida uh, University has one and, and they're good. They're all good. But the challenge is what textbook are they using? And that's the real, that's the real crux. They need to use the red book they need to use 21.5 unbreakable laws of selling. That's that's the deal. And you have to do it in a way where, um, you know, you get your hour and a half, two times a week or three times a week, whatever it is, and you improve. You have to get better. And the assessment will tell you exactly where you are. Mm -hmm. I mean, exactly. And it will, yeah. you take this test, it'll take you maybe 20 minutes to take the test. And then you get a 20 page report in two seconds. Yeah. And it's true. And it's accurate. Know. It's an accurate report. And I can say firsthand, I took the test. I saw the stuff that I secretly knew deep down. I really was lousy at, but wasn't ready to admit I was lousy at. And then through, you know, coaching with Jeffrey and studying on my own really worked on those things, right? The engagement capabilities, the, you know, relationship and you're standing in the marketplace. Those were, low and yeah. uh and i took it a year later and across the board a lot better i actually got worse in one area but better in all the other ones so that just goes to show that you're always a work in progress you have to constantly work on yourself and mentorship and coaching is a big part of that but that the test you know what to work on and then you can see in your results and on paper how you're getting better at it yeah agreed and I would also, this the teacher, by the way, at this particular school has a lot of hands-on sales experience. But I'm going to tell you that most of the people who are offering sales courses <laughs> have never had a job in sales. So yeah. you have to look at it from that perspective as well. If you if you have a, if you're, have a kid who's going to college and they're going to take a sales course, the first question you want to ask the teacher is, tell me about your sales experience. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, I've got a, can I ask you a question, Jeffrey? Yeah, go. So I'm, I'm really interested because I've looked at so many of these test results and reviewed them with people. 
I'm kind of interested a little bit about the process of creating it because you partnered with like people that are experts in developing these yeah. assessments, aptitude yeah. versus skills and all that stuff. Can you tell me a little of the story of how it came together? Well, I'm friends with Tony Alessandra, who's a speaker, but he owns this assessment company. And I asked him if he would put my assessment up on in his platform. And he agreed. Mm -hmm. um, and he tweaked it and he made it easy to to get there when, you, when you'll see this assessment and you'll have the opportunity to take some of his other assessments. I think he uses my stuff as bait. But <laughs> um, he's a disc guy and he's huge assessments. I think it's 24 seven assessments. Um, but they're the best assessment company in the country. And I've been friends with this guy literally for 30 years. So it was just one of those things where you have the right connections and you post the right information. But this is in an engine, this is in an engine that's robust and phenomenal. Mm -hmm. A thousand people can go there right now and take the test and it, it won't blink. Yeah. No, I love so, it. Yeah, they have they have all different kinds of tests, which I love is you can you can see, hey, this isn't just something that was made up out of thin air. It's just as legitimate as any disc test or yeah. whatever. Um, and disc and I think by the it's way, the only the only one disc is, oh. disc is best and worst out of four. Disc is the most frustrating thing I've ever taken. <laughs> because it doesn't really allow you, like you're in between, or is this one the best one or is this one the best one? And you can't do it. Mm -hmm. There needs to redo disc. Somebody needs to redo best. And I think it exists somewhere, but no one wants to let it loose. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Every disc I've taken, it's been like know. strongly agree all the way to strongly dis disagree, which yeah. I'm always either a one or a five, right? Like if I feel like I'm not a five, then I put myself as a one. <laughs> So, my, so those tests think that I might be a psychopath. I don't know. So we're going to cut it loose right now. Um, but this this little uh, video will stay up on on all my social platforms and some of Eric's. Yeah. Imploring you to, to, imploring you to take this test for free between now and Monday. Because after Monday, it's 97 bucks. Mm-hmm. Thank Absolutely. You for being and here I will, everybody today. Yeah. And I'll be here to review the assessments with anybody that takes it, right? Like that's cool. complimentary is reviewing it, pointing you in a direction of what could help you. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and check out the city of Nashville with my family. Thanks for your time this morning, Jeffrey. Appreciate all you guys Thank being you. here. Yep. Um, I've been offering this advice to people over the course of the last six months and it's working. Stay away from idiots. Um, there's too many of them walking the streets. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Surround yourself with smart, successful people and you will become smarter and more successful. Until next time, people don't like to be sold, but they love to buy. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Eric, for being here today. Enjoy yourself with your family. Thanks, Jeffrey. Cheers. Bye, everybody.